<laughs> Fine nights today. Quite yes? Good. Quite good, my lord. Quite good indeed. <laughs> good. Good. Maybe rise. Yes, yes, please. <laughs> Stand, yes. Thank you, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> it's an interesting <laughs> maze, yes. <laughs> yes, this place is quite a maze of its own, and definitely some good company, so far. <laughs> Something like that, yes. <laughs> I wanted to discuss, uh, <laughs> Cabinino, yes. <laughs> yes, you wish to discuss that, though, yes? I do, yes. <laughs> so, what of <laughs> Lazy Lady Dizzy and <laughs> Mayor Dubs, yes? What is their uh, <laughs> current goals, <laughs> if you would say? Yes? <laughs> I believe as of right now, their current goals of Cabinino, at least, from my at least intentions of understanding them, but as simple as to build a Cabinino to a friendly and lovely town, from what they've said. It has been quite hard, unfortunately. Quite unsettling neighbors nearby that have been scaring off the uh, potential citizens. Mm, yes. <laughs> this, uh, <laughs> several bandit groups, yes? <laughs> yes, Lord, several of them. Quite <laughs> troublesome. Even one kidnapped me the other day. <laughs> Most unfortunate, <laughs> Sir Knight, yes. Tell me, does <laughs> Cabinito Kingdom plan to do something about these <laughs> supposed bandits, yes? <laughs> well, yes, Lord Lucian. As of right now, oh, do you need some room to walk through? I'm terribly sorry. Oh, no. Oh, understood. Yes, Lord Lucian, uh, we do believe that Cabinito would like to deal with the common peasantry bandits known as the CBK. They're cold-blooded killers, as they've been known as, and I believe the Czech military has been quite troublesome too, but not quite so to us, but more so to everyone else we're friendly with. Mm, yes, <laughs> I believe uh, <laughs> goals could be aligned, yes, <laughs> mutually. <laughs> I do believe so, Lord Lucian. <laughs> Tell me, <laughs> uh, from my... <laughs> Conversations with <laughs> Lady Dizzy, yes, <laughs> on the private com. She uh, <laughs> mentioned that she was not one for <laughs> hostility, <laughs> yes. <laughs> of course, Lord, she is one of the most kind hearted people we've met so far, and she typically has no ill intentions within her heart. She, do, she does tend to speak her best and give everyone the second chance or the benefit of doubt, as she says. Quite a nice lady of the land. <laughs> Interesting, yes. So perhaps, <laughs> what is Lady Dizzy <laughs> looking for to build her kingdom? Oh, sorry, Lord. Could you say it one more time? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Acolytes, please <laughs> silence your tongues for the time being. <laughs> I asked if <laughs> Lady Dizzy, what did she need for her <laughs> kingdom to be built up at the moment? question. I believe they've been suffering with the ideas of nails, but have been quite generous to donate whatever nails they did get to us to build up our citadel. We do feel quite bothersome to them when we did so, but I do believe funding itself has been quite the issue. And of course, the banditry problem has been running away the potential citizens of Cabanino. We've already lost four potential new citizens in the past two or three weeks, all due to rogue bandits running about, scaring them off. Mm, yes, seems to be the issue with most <laughs> individuals. <laughs> Perhaps we can <laughs> arrange something, yes? I do believe we could, Lord. Tell me. It's always good to have friends in the shadows. How much 
How many caps, yes, would it require to fund <laughs> your kingdom? Well, say, Lord, I'm, I'm quite uncertain, if I'm being honest. We just, ourselves, if you speak of the kingdom itself in total, Lord Dizzy and, sorry, oh man, I just messed that one up real bad. Lady Dizzy and Lord Dubs have been spending quite a bit of money trying to get up their operations of growing individual types of marijuana plants to begin funding the city themselves. But that's been quite hard, as it's, it is definitely quite spendy and quite uh, expensive. And with the bandits robbing us once in a while, we tend to lose a lot of profits just for the fact that they like to gang up on us in large numbers. As for we, the Knights of the Soul Sisters, the Cavadino, we just spent $50,000 on a food truck to begin our charity events where we could start giving out food and drinks at a low, low price to start funding ourselves. It is quite hard to give an idea of how, how much money would even run a kingdom. I'm, I am well unaware of how that would even play out. Mm, yes. <laughs> What if I could, so what do you say, make a donation of sorts in exchange for the stuff that you don't need, yes? Such as explosives, high caliber weapons that I'm sure you won't be using anytime soon. Oh, of course, Lord. We would love to have that sort of exchange. It would be a most beneficial deal. Whenever Lady Dizzy was going to come and meet with you, I was going to come with her with a gift basket of sorts. And uh, in Tails, that gift basket would be some of the things you've actually just requested. Especially the explosive part. Perfect, yes. <laughs> I believe this would be a very good <laughs> trade deal, yes? Yes, indeed. I would ask, which you could tell me was too much to ask, of course, but is there some way we could come to a armistice pack or not aggression pact even to between uh, your lovely band of your sacred society and Cavadino you see <laughs> gentlemen our uh, organization is built off <laughs> secrecy yes and one must perform a black sacrament in order to acquire our services yes <laughs> quite unfamiliar what a black sacrament is. It is a ritual of sorts, yes. Preferably with human flesh, a skull, and a knife laid out in a certain order. Yes. Oh, I see. Well, human flesh is quite odd for us to uh, collect ourselves, but if it does require the black sacrament then we could probably come across some people who are deemed unworthy of the kingdom and could be promptly used for such things if we ever did need the assistance. Yes, that would be the best way to acquire said services, yes. No caps, merely flesh, bone, a skull, and a knife, yes. With, with of course, a, a, a certain... <laughs> recitement of a saying which is discussed at the time that you uh, <laughs> have the materials <laughs> of course I'm sure it will now <laughs> of course I could <laughs> provide a nice donation to your <laughs> kingdom maybe you could hire some mercenaries or something <laughs> to help take care of some of these bandits yes indeed lord we could we have heard of the uh, mercenary group known as Blackwater, who would be willing to help us with the assistance of CBK. They did say somewhere between 15,000 or 18,000. I'm very uncertain of the number, as that was uh, roughly seven hours ago. Yes, I believe uh, I could make a 20,000 cap donation, yes. Would that suffice for now? Of course, Lord. Any amount you uh, would be willing to donate towards us would be enough. And then in exchange, <laughs> explosives and <laughs> guns such as LARs and <laughs> higher calibers such as VSDs could come to us, yes? Yes, indeed. We, the Knights of Solstice, would definitely stockpile those just for you. Fantastic, yes. <laughs> I believe this is a uh, <laughs> good start to a uh, <laughs> working relationship, yes? I would say so myself, yes. We do plan to the lords and ladies of land, at least the ones that aren't assholes to us. 
We are <laughs> a neutral party <laughs> of sorts. I, uh, found this helmet. I didn't know if it's, uh, something you would want to have, but it is yours if you'd like it. I do not need it. Of course. Yes. Lord, uh, Kennedy, take that. You can carry it. I shall carry the torch in that meantime. Mm. Glorious. Mm -hmm. Well, with that being said, yes, I believe this concludes our <laughs> conversation. Of course. Again, we bow at your great presence and gratitude of your service and your willingness to speak to us. Of course. <laughs> I appreciate you understanding the <laughs> secrecy, yes. Of course. And I also still have the sword you bestowed upon me during our meeting. Good. <laughs> Very, nice side. Very good. Keep it safe, <laughs> as they are, uh, rare to come across, yes? Of course, if I ever lose this sword, I will be sure to try to contact you as quick as possible. Okay. I love the scumbag that took it from me. Yes. <laughs> Lord Moon, do you have any questions? <laughs> Since you are, uh, standing there, yes? You know, we, we have to see if we can find those shadows. Yes, I, uh, I'm aware there are two of them, and one of them is bad that came to our citadel and made me sing with my uh, other knight, Sir John, before they held us up and stole some of our food and drinks and medicine. Yes, it's quite unfortunate. One of my people. Of course, Lord Moon, we believe you entirely. So far, when we met you, we have had gracious contact with you, and I believe you even helped one of my uh, other fellow knights in uh, terms of looting a metal dragon that was shot out of the sky. Uh, is he ready to get out of here? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, I believe I need some new uh, undergarments because mine is currently soiled. <laughs> Perhaps these, uh, <laughs> bandit groups will, <laughs> will, uh, hear of the history of the <laughs> dragon fire laying waste of such villages. <laughs> Maybe we shall recreate that for them. <laughs> yes. Indeed. We have plans of filling a honeypot full of our own leaflings and throwing it over the wall then next time they decide to harass us. <laughs> if we call them piss babies. <laughs> Maybe at some point we can get oh, it. Oh, it's quite light out. 